Today, we're gonna to learn how to operate a gimbal uh, on your camera, you know, take off your tripod plate. And make sure your lens cap is off. You wanna make sure your camera is exactly how it's gonna be when you balance it on the gimbal. Some gimbals come with this handy little tripod feet. If you have those and you're new to balancing your gimbal, go ahead and get that out to help you balance it easier. So today we're gonna to be balancing a Zion Crane 1 version 2. Before you go out to shoot, make sure your batteries are charged up. Good to go. Goes in the base and just screw it in. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then attach your feet. So now you've got it set up. You don't have to use the feet, but it's handy if you're learning how to balance this for your first time. In the case, get out your little screw that comes with it. Make sure the bottom arm is facing backwards towards you and that the right arm is on the right side of your body and not on the left side. Make sure it's on the right side of the camera. Hold up the camera and we'll thread it through the base plate here and right into the camera. You wanna bump the camera right up to the edge of the gimbal so it's nice and snug on the side here. Go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, so the gimbal is off balance right now and we're gonna go step by step on how to balance it. Uh, this is how you balance the Zion Crane, but all gimbals follow the same principles for balancing. So the camera is uh, front heavy and so on the back side of the plate, you can loosen this up and you can slide the camera back to so hold the side of the gimbal so it doesn't flop over on you and just barely nudge the camera into the right position until you find the sweet spot. Gimbals are very touchy and so just the smallest change can make a big difference. All right, so it's close enough for now and so you can see how it's side heavy and so we'll unscrew this screw here and we'll push it to the right until it doesn't flop over to the right side. We're gonna try and get this to stay, to stay balanced. Okay, so it's flopping backwards now and so we're gonna to go to this screw and it's, it's falling back so we'll, need, we'll push this down until it perfectly gets balanced. There we go, it's really close. Now it's still it's drifting to the right a little bit, so we'll adjust this. Tighten it back down before you let go, because you don't want that to swing out and smack the camera. There we go, balance. Now we're gonna balance it back this way. Okay, camera's looking really good right there. Balance this way, so turn the camera sideways. Um, it's a hair off. It goes to the right just a hair, so we'll move it just a smidge until it's nice and balanced. All right, now the last axis you need to balance is the base. So you actually pick up the gimbal, tilt it forward, and tilt it backwards. Okay, see how it swung around like that? That means that we're off balance. So you unscrew, and then I think we need to pull it back just a little bit to get the center of gravity just perfect. So pick it up again, tilt forward. Uh, it swung around right there, so. So we may have gone too far, so we'll work it back the other direction. So you'll just keep making subtle adjustments until the camera doesn't swing around backwards. All right, that got a lot better. So let's just keep going that direction just a little bit more. 
tighten it back down tight. And we'll just keep working it back and forth, making sure that the gimbal doesn't swing around. There we go. See how it stayed completely balanced the whole time? So now on this gimbal, the power button's right here. And you just do one long press, and once the light stays solid, you let go. And the light turns blue, and that lets you know that you're in operation mode. Okay, so now we're gonna walk through a couple of the settings on this particular gimbal. Each blink indicates how much battery is left in this charge. Four blinks is full charge, three blinks is 75%, two blinks is 50%, one blink is 25%. When you get to one blink, you really need to recharge your batteries before the next shoot. So how you operate vertical motion, pushing down, tilts down on the joystick, pushing up, tilts up on the joystick. So as you're doing movement and you want a, a tilt motion, you gotta use the joystick. There's a bunch of different modes here that you can use. The startup mode is my personal favorite to use. I like to just leave it in that mode. It helps me get all the shots I need to get for pretty much any shoot. But if you'd like to experiment with that, you can look in the directions and dive in in more detail. To shut off the gimbal, it's just a long press, it'll blink. When the light turns off, it shuts off the gimbal. After a few months, the Zion Crane can tend to have a little bit of a tilt to its shot. So if your gimbal starts to tilt to the left or to the right, download the Zion Play app and you can recalibrate the center point for the gimbal. 